What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at the much requested and much look forward to review of Fabio Cannavaro. This guy is the meta man lads. He's definitely one of the best center backs in the game currently. I still think there's one or two center backs that can push him for that title of best center back in the game. But huge shout out to David and Lou, subscribers and supporters and members on my YouTube channel for getting us the spins for Fabio Cannavaro. We put in a bit of our own as well. But definitely... Fabio Cannavaro was a player, I feel like that he's, he's definitely a player that a lot of people are going to sleep on because of one key issue, and that is his height. Now, I'm going to get into that towards the end of the video, right? And we'll, we'll have it all chaptered out, and you can go back and watch the video. But the best thing about Fabio Cannavaro is his tracking off the ball and his manual defending. If you are a manual defender and you like to be tenacious, you like to be aggressive, I personally think he's definitely in the top three destroyers in the game currently. He's just a beast to play with, man. You'll see clip after clip here of him. Now, we're going to show you the much requested build. This guy, Fabio Cannavaro, that we built here, look at the stats. 100 defensive awareness, 99 tackling, 97 aggression, 95 engagement, 91 speed, 98 jumping, and 90 physical contact. One real weakness in him is his 78 heading. That has kind of been something that a lot of people have focused on. He goes to 105 overall. He can actually go to 106 overall. We've given him shutdown as a booster crafted as well. That gives him his defensive awareness, tackling, defensive engagement, and speed, a plus one stat to that. So you could give him different types of boosters, but I do think that that one is the best to bring up all his defensive skills where you need him to be. We also only threw on additional skills as true passing. You don't really need player skills on him. He has every defensive skill in the game, right? Now, I've also asked, I've also been asked about my build. That is the build from there, 3 11 4 11 3. Very simple, 3 into dexterity, 11 into lower body, 3, 11, 4, 11, 3. So you can guys can go back and watch that if you want, or you can, you know, uh, rewind that if you want to see the build. But I do think with Cannabaro, lads, honestly, I think his best attributes is his tracking and his manual defending. Like, look at his tracking there. Pretty much doing everything that I need him to do when I'm not controlling him. Like, look, again, I take manual control and we come over with a manual block. Again, auto defense help here, which is going to be at a high level. Uh, now, I will say that the one thing I did like about Maldini when this Maldini came out was that he seemed to be the full package. Does Maldini... <sighs> this is a tough one, right? Because uh, Maldini is my favorite center back in the game, like bar none. But the more I played with Cannavaro, man, and you look at the stats there, the one big question people will have is, is Cannavaro tall enough? Can he win aerial battles? And the answer is yes. And I'm going to show you about four clips. There's the first one. Here's the second one. Now, I know you're saying, like, okay, look, how is he going to do against Bullet Header? Against Bullet Header, man, anyone can score anything. I mean, that's against Gabriel Batistuta. He's not winning the, air, the aerial battle clean, but he's putting off Batistuta enough. So that's why I think it's an unfair kind of comparison between him and Maldini. A fair comparison would be if you're used to playing Bergomi center back, or you're used to playing Kunde, or you're used to playing the new Kyle Walker. This is kind of where you're going to be looking to use Cannavaro, right? And I would not play a destroyer and a destroyer. I would usually play a build-up. So I'm playing Saliba with him. I'm not playing Van Buyten with Fabio Cannavaro. If I come up against somebody, and I spoke about this yesterday on the stream, and I've said it before, if I come up against somebody that's using crosses, which is very rare, right? It, it, most people, 90% of people are going to play quick counter or long ball counter, and it's going to be all on the deck. You know, again, look at the run here from Cannavaro. This is a center back, lads, with desperate stats. Like, you're looking at his stats here. But that is it for our review. I definitely really highly rate him. If you have a previous version of Cannavaro, you don't really need him. He's just taking a little sup of water there um, just to cool himself off. But I do feel that he is a beast, yeah. Is he the most overpowered centre-back in the game at the moment? I personally think he's in top three, yeah. I definitely think he's top three now. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. He is a beast, man. But if you have previous versions of Cannavaro or your back four is set and you're not really leaking that many goals... You don't ever need to spin for these boys because you need to be prepared to go deep a lot of the time with them. So that is it for the review. Don't forget to subscribe. Any questions that I haven't covered, let me know in the comments below.